It's another beautiful Saturday to be on television. Of course, this is welcoming you to the weekend entertainment segment of the weekend show. And of course, my name is Amaka Ubeche, welcoming you once again to another very beautiful Saturday. How are you all doing this morning? Of course, as usual, I have an artist with me in the studio all the way from Penthouse Records. Uh, I have with me a very distinguished gentleman who has um you know he's been giving me a little bit of tough time but finally i dragged him to my set today <laughs> we'll get to find out who my guest is today on my set but we'll be going on a very short break we'll take one of his songs e yo and then when he, we come back probably that will give us a little hint of who i have with me here in the studio don't go anywhere it's still the weekend show and this is the weekend entertainment segment <laughs> Get him one idea. Finna get loose, huh? Ziggy, 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 ra. Get him one. Why not? Any time in the low where the money day, yo. Daily hustle, zero holiday, yo. The law no money, so puna gay, yo. The law it's an enya as an amalay, yo. Any time in the low where the money day, yo. Daily hustle, zero holiday, yo. The law no money, so puna gay, yo. The law it's an enya as an amalay, yo. Zibo, yo. Hey we, yo. Ina de, yo, yo, yo. Yo, hey we, yo. Ina de, ina de, ina de, ina de. On the child don't do jungle no be zoo. And I pick boom on the steady man who do what shoe. I'm man who will be one by the liver too. Man was young blue million, one million kiss it too. Face of four one, it's a two thousand and forever. No no be Italian, even in the United States. I'm leather. And what I'm packing, man, I'm put up boss of boss and other. I go kaija boom wine, stored and hag another. You be very free, it's young in my business. Man on the guinness, I'll carry you with my witness. Make one man, we have my witness. We'll be them cast off corn, no room for kidness. I am one of a hand up. Everything taking shape, book my neck. I ain't one of the men in no mama. The signal was on a way, babes, with the walk, 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 carry on. I let a little low every money day. Yo, daily hustle, zero holiday. Yo, a lot of money is a good idea. Yo by Nuno Ziggy and he's right here in the studio with us all the way from Penthouse Records. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. Good morning. I love your outfit. You look <clears throat> dapper. Da oh, dapper. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't look dapper than me now. Come you know? On. You, won't you can't come and int intimidate me on my own set. <laughs> but you look good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. So, Nuno, uh, it's really good to have you here and it's perfect that you're going to be here to tell us a little bit about your history in the music industry. Right. We understand that you're signed currently to the Penthouse Records. That yeah. is um, Fino, Fino's, record, Fino's label. record label. Yeah. But then you're going to tell us how you were able to get that gig. But first of all, tell us how you started with music. What inspired you to music? Um, music for me started way back in my secondary school. That was 211. Okay. So before that, I haven't figured out anything I was going to do with my life. I was just a regular student going to school and all of that stuff. So when I had the first inspiration to do music, that was in my secondary school, just like I said. And um, one thing led to another. I just started writing my raps in pure English, though, back then, because I used to have this notion that people that did their music in the indigenous languages were people that didn't go to school. I had that mentality back then. <laughs> yeah. So a um, few years down the line, I started switching, switching until it clicked. And I realized that Igbo, Igbo rap was actually my stronghold, so I just started um, doing it. Um, fast forward to 2018, that was when my career kicked off officially. I got signed onto Fino's um, record label. Um, you might ask how that happened. Of course, not that's magic. exact. I'm, no, um, I'm not interested. Magic. Um, 2018, after my second year, we had long vacation, so it was just a conscious decision by myself. I told my friends I was not going to go home, just okay. like all the day I was like, or more. I'm not getting any younger, I just have to do something. So we just stayed back in school and stuff. So I started doing um, recording freestyles and I would do videos and post on the internet, Instagram to be precise. So I did um, for what for what's a one, I did ECA Go. I think those two videos actually got um, Fino impressed, attracted, kind of. So. Okay. What video was that? I did Sewa video, kind of a viral video. I did okay. a cover of the song Sewa. Sewa yeah, so okay. I posted it on the gram and 
one thing led to another. I actually got a DM from Finger. I was like, bro, wow. I love your sound. I would like to work with you. And fast forward to now, we are here. Okay. Thank God that we're here. But now, since you joined the penthouse family, what would you say that, um, you know, has been the most challenging part of, you know, being under that record label? Um, or what, we could say, what have you learned so far? I've actually learned a lot. Before I joined Fino's record label, I was actually the guy that would always sit down and write my music. Not okay. that I don't do so now, I still do. But Actually, going into the studio and vibing was actually something I learned from Fino when I met him for the first time we were in the studio. I was like, oh, so people can actually play beats and something comes on the spot, you understand? So for me, back then, I would always craft it out in my head, sit down, write it down, because actually up until now, I'm a rapper, I'm not a freestyler, you understand? Definitely. So I will actually have to sit down and craft those words because I call myself a wordsmith, you understand? It's an art, I have to sit down and perfect it. So meeting Fino actually taught me he could enter the studio and then vibe. Not that he won't write, but you can actually vibe. And, and then work ethics, like Fino is actually a monster when it comes to recording songs I all night imagine. in the studio. So I was like, wow, so these guys actually work harder than up, hard. upcoming artists. I was like, wow. So. It really kept me on my toes. I had to, you understand? I had to pick up and challenge myself and all of that, so, you understand? So, okay. the challenging aspect, just like you asked, I don't think it's, um, it's particular to the label. Okay. You understand? It's, yeah. it's an Eastern Nigeria something, you understand? Artists from the East, you have yeah. this industrial discrimination and all of, all of that stuff, but it doesn't actually matter to me. Okay, yeah. now that we are talking about upcoming artists and how you guys get to work so hard, being signed under a very, you know, strong record label, yeah. uh, what would you say that uh, the industry has been, how, how do you think it has been to upcoming artists? Do you think it has been fair? Um, I think I'm going to take a neutral stance on that. It's been fair, it's been unfair. It's been unfair in the sense that music is not just made, it's promoted. Hit okay. songs, you don't just make a hit song you promote, you understand? So an upcoming artist, for example, has no financial muscle, except in rare cases, you understand? Definitely. Don't really have that financial muscle to put the, put the music out, promote it the way it's meant to be promoted, yeah. shoot crisp music, uh, music videos, videos and all yeah. of that stuff. So it's actually challenging in that aspect. And then recognition, people tend to look down on you because you're not actually, um, you're not whiskey, you're not fino, and They've not seen you around those guys, so it's more like, who is this guy? I don't even know his name. On to the next, you understand? So, fair in the sense that we are in a um, digital era, you understand? The advancement of technology and all of that stuff, just like myself. Yeah, very much. I, I, spent, I spent close to nothing before I got signed on to Finos Record Lab. I just recorded my song, and I did that, that video with, with my phone, you understand? Wow. I just uploaded it on, 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 on Instagram. I was just tagging, reposting. I was asking my friends, keep tagging Fino. I would go under his comment sections. I would be, boss, please check out my freestyle. You, 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 okay. you understand? So now that we're talking about Penthouse, yeah. uh, has it always been Penthouse you wanted to work with? Um, to be honest, I never expected it would, it would work out the way it did. You understand? Wow. I just, I always had that conviction that boy, you're a star, and it's going to happen, you understand? But I never knew how it was going to happen. Okay, kudos to Fino for at least Is finding it? you out. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so now that we're talking about your sound, you are Nuno Ziggy. Yeah. How many songs do you have, um, you know, to your name? Um, I have um, Eight Mood, I dropped it in November of 2018. I have EU. And I have Chupadia. And Chupadia so is the recent. Yeah, recent. and I had Niam Space with Fino and a host of other collabos. I had Nobody, Igbo Boy, Shumis with DJ Neptune. I have a whole, like, a whole lot of collabos, but I have an EP coming out. Definitely. That's, I was just about to ask you if, you know, some of your fans would like to know if you're working on anything recently because we haven't heard from you in a long time, <laughs> it's you know. Okay. okay so um, what's, what's the project? Tell us, tell us, tell us. We'd like to know. Okay. Um, my, I know my fans have been patient, they've been waiting and all of that stuff, but aside doing the music, I had to finish school. Yeah. Because I owed my parents that. Congratulations. I owe, I owe, I owe it to myself as well, <laughs> you understand? So 
it it wasn't even in it's not easy. It, it wasn't Recent even in graduates. contention. I had to finish my schooling and all of that stuff. So I'm done. What did you study? I studied music. Okay. Music. So From the University of uh, Namdi Nam Nam Azikiwe yeah, yeah, University. Okay. Yeah. So I'm um, I'm done with school. My degree in the bag. So I have I have a project coming out soon and. Trust me, it's going to be crazy. Okay, crazy, which, which takes crazy. us to your chupadia as the music. You know, when you sang that song, I was listening to it, and you said, "If I finish school for four years and I just go house with only certificate, what will I tell my, mom? tell my mom?" I like that song. We're going to take uh, chupadia very soon. But now that we're talking about your music, we're talking about school. Now you bagged a collaboration with a lot of artists in the industry. You've yeah. also bagged, um, you know, a sign-in with Fino Penthouse, yeah. and now a recent graduate. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Uh, let's take Chupadia so that maybe we we'll get to understand what Nuno is talking about, you know, as, his, as regards his music and his, uh, you know, his schooling as well. So just stay tuned because this is still the weekend show and this is the weekend entertainment segment. <laughs> That was Chupadia, and definitely we're going to play that song after this segment is over because we have a whole lot to discuss with Nuno. Nuno is right here in the studio. Now, Nuno, you were talking about your EP before we took Chupadia. Yeah. Do you have a title to the EP yet? Mm, I don't think it's something I'm going to disclose now. So when you don't it's want to time, disclose it. <laughs> okay. So how many songs are in the EP or what should we be expecting? Any collaborations in the EP? Uh, I have to keep my fingers crossed. Okay. Now, in due time, we're going to um, release the track list and every other thing. So for now, it's fingers crossed, just like I said. Okay. So you and a whole lot of your colleagues have been, you know, saturating Oka. And we know you, I know you with Rati, yeah. Wills, and so many others. What would you say sets you apart from them? Um, I'll say a whole lot of things. Like, I have, I have this charisma. Okay. Um, my lyrics, my wordplay, my punchline. All due respect to anybody. Okay. But it's unmatched, for real. Okay. That's a, that's a good one. I think it's staying positive is the right mindset to it. So now, what's like the craziest experience since your fan base grew bigger? I cannot help but to, you know, imagine what you have to go through, you know, with your fans. <laughs> um, there is no particular craziest experience, in quote. Okay. But, um, because from the onset, from when the whole music thing started for me officially, I was mentally prepared for whatever it brought my way. It meant um, being recognized in, pr in places, um, people asking for pictures, guys asking for tips, you understand? Okay. But I want to if I... No. I don't mind her name, you know. I want to. Like, I will still charge you, you know. At least knowing that you are assigned with Fino. I'm on the name. I'm on the name. I'm taxing you. So, so, um, well, I count it all joy, kind of. Okay. It's, it's, it's all of those things that comes with being an artist and being an exceptional one at that. So. Okay, congratulations to you then. Thank but you. then as we round off the segment, you're going to still give your advice to upcoming artists. You know? But then before we go to that um, aspect, I'd like to know if you were given a second chance to change something in the industry, maybe your musical journey as you started up till now, looking back at your past, what would you change? Is it 
changing something about myself or the industry in general? In the industry, about yourself, you can tell us whichever one you prefer. Um, I'll just talk about the industry. Um, if I were given a chance to change something about the industry, I think I'm going to strike out tribalism that exists in the music industry because, believe it or not, it's, it's an issue. You understand? Okay. For instance, that Igbo rapper, that Igbo rapper tagline, it's actually undermining the efforts we put in and you, you understand? Yeah. To actually rap in Igbo, it's, it's not, it's, not, it's, easy. not it's, it's a Herculean task, like for real, you understand? Wow. To sit down and craft those words with Igbo. I'm not disrespecting Yoruba artists or okay. other indi no, but like, I think it's actually harder to write in Igbo and then, Going all the, through all of that to get discredited at the end, like uh, Ibo rapper, Ibo artist. So I think I have to, if I were given a chance, a chance to change something, I will create an equal and an enabling environment for everybody to thrive. You understand? Okay. You just have to show what you got. If you're good, you're good. No, nothing like he's from here, he's from here. So I'm um, talking about myself, my journey, just like I said. I don't think I'll change anything. I think I'm going to add something. And that's um, adding being a music producer to my, to my kitty. Yeah, because I was just about to ask you what's next in the nearest future for you. I have a whole lot of questions to ask, but then we're going, uh, we're, we're just running out of time. Just give us a bit of advice so we can go. Advice to you or to upcoming artists? Advice to me. Advise me. Oh, yeah. Habba. Advise why I go, me. Why I advise you? <laughs> what talk? if I decide to be a musician tomorrow? Uh, okay, advice um, upcoming artists. Um, I, for real, I don't really have any advice for anybody because it's all been laid down. Okay. Just give it a shot and give it your best shot. That's all for me. Okay. Because you already know what to do as an upcoming artist. You have to put in work. You have to write those songs. You have to record them and all of that stuff. So, uh, like, I don't have anything special to say to anybody. If you want Jones yourself, Jones. If you want sleep on yourself, sleep. If you wow. actually want to get it done, sit your up and get it done. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so give us a shout out then we can go. Um, shout out to me, Amaka, Amaka on the weekend entertainment segment. Or let's just say Yeah, this is show. this is Nuno Zigi, Zigi Zigira, the Rep on the KZ. And this is Amaka on the entertainment seg segment of the weekend show on ABS TV and radio. Keep watching, don't touch that that. <laughs> and that's how we wrap it up on the weekend entertainment segment for today. Stay tuned because Oluchi and David are already on standby for social media trends, which is the dessert aspect of this show. Keep watching ABS. Stay tuned. <laughs> December, maybe we'll ride the butter. If I call my mother, my silver spoon will fill it for me to get there. If I call my mom, four years for you to seek to one another degree. If I call my mother, if I if I call my mom, if I if I call my mother, you can't get too badia, 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 I don't generate remita, make I pay back for the love. In your little way back, I go to Holland on my way back. In Malia, a person on my way back. In them, I go to Hustle. We'll be a baseball, so who make I solve the puzzle? In the Sabala, I can't get up. I want you to learn what I'm going to do. I got my size, my size, my size. My job, you become void with guys, guys. I'm fixing my eyes on the price. I can no longer get in one room, so I see eyes. I'm for me, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going
This money batanga polili. To go on a column of one million. Even when you miss your kitty, Kado, Munga Kondo for the whole city. Huh, Ega Mapiro, who were low jiggy, Muma, and I don't hear in as a lizard. More, or what could a woman is in Milly? Come, no get it to Batukuno, Gene, Mako, Kono, Kadifanga, Kono, Mai, Kadifanga, Kono, Nebai, O Alo, Kam, Afem Tipia Hatunam, or Damu Bakubunam, Mshupa get the whole case weekend, Akoyana Payanu, Gubu, Ejife. I said the hustle if it's too quick, more by your body, but you put it matter from January to December. We did the matter. Get in that color, my mother. Can they do more? Believe upon number leba. Get in that color, my mother. Send them bitch allow. We will lose our sense in that. Get in that color, my mother. Get in that. Get in that color, my mother. Get in that. Get in that color, my mother. Get in that. Get in that color, my mother. Facebook, YouTube, news websites. Many of us take for granted logging onto these sites every single day. More and more of us are using the internet. 36% of Africans are now online. Nigerians on average spend more than three hours a day on social media, whilst use of these sites in Ghana has gone up 22% in just one year. But as internet access has grown, so has the desire to stop it. Internet shutdowns, when a government intentionally stops the internet,